Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have another video with the theory test questions, but this time we're going to be going through the top 10 most difficult theory test questions, uh, which everyone finds difficult. And the guys at the Complete Theory Test Kit app, that's a theory test app that Rajan has been using for his theory test. They're the ones that have sent me over the list. So basically they have a list of the most flagged questions and the most questions that uh, people answered um, incorrectly. And so they sent me the list over. And yeah, and we're gonna see if Rajan today can uh, get, get these questions correct. So uh, one thing though, guys, I did tell Rajan um, a few days ago, yeah, that we're gonna be going through the hardest questions. So instead of using um, the app, which uh, you, you've been using to revise, yeah? Yeah. Um, he told me just before I picked him up that, uh, yeah, he kind of uh, Googled the questions and went onto YouTube and that to, to um, yeah, check them out. Which, to be honest, uh, first I was like, oh, he shouldn't have done that. I wanted to see how you, how you did just using the app. But it's a smart move. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think that's actually a smart move. So anybody going for the theory test questions, yeah, for the theory test, um, yeah, should be going through the most difficult ones anyway. So, um yeah, I was expecting um, you to struggle with them, but if you have done that, yeah, yeah, uh, it's a bit more added pressure. So I think you should get most of them correct now. I don't know about that. Hopefully, <laughs> okay. Right, guys. So if you guys um, um, haven't been uh, watching any of our videos before, we have been filming every single one of Rajan's um, uh, driving lessons each week and uploading them onto YouTube so you guys can follow his journey and uh, every two weeks we've been doing a video um, on the theory test questions yeah yeah and so uh, yeah this is our third video and um, how do you think you're getting along with your theory I think it's going all right it's not going too bad and how are you finding the app uh, the app's good it's useful like good. Uh, when I get stuff wrong and you do flag it and it, it tells you like it gives you an explanation why uh, why it's wrong and it gives you like the right answer and stuff Good. Yeah, guys, I do strongly recommend the complete theory test kit app for anybody who is revising for their theory and needs help. Uh, you can find the link in the description below or it will appear on the top right hand corner. Okay, right. So are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, first question, you're driving a car fitted with automatic transmission. When would you use kick down? Yeah. To brake progressively, to improve fuel economy, to engage cruise control, or to accelerate quickly? Is there an explanation of what kick down is or no? No. No, oh, okay. Am I allowed to use a hint or no? No. Okay. Because you can't use the hint on your actual test. True. I don't think it's a third one. Um, I'd say go for the first or last. Which one are you going for? So you're either saying to brake progressively or yeah, to okay. accelerate quickly? Yeah. Um, just go for the first one. To brake progressively, yeah? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. Okay, that's the wrong one. It's okay. to accelerate quickly. So kick down is um, when you go down a gear. So when you go down a gear, that'll help you accelerate quicker. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. Right, next one. When turning right onto a dual carriageway, what should you do before emerging? Yeah, so say so you're, you're, you're entering a dual carriageway now from a side road and you're turning right, yeah? Yeah. Okay, we haven't covered dual carriageways in our lessons before, yeah? Do you know what dual carriageways? Yeah. Okay. Isn't it just two carriageways next to one another? Yeah, so you'll have a central reservation uh, uh, in the middle, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and so you're going to go from one side to the other side because you're turning right, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you've got to cut across both sides. So what would you do? Um, what should you do before emerging? Position your vehicle well to the left of the side road. Check that the central reservation is wide enough for your vehicle. Stop, apply the parking brake and then select a low gear. Or make sure that you leave enough room for a vehicle behind. So it's saying turning right whilst you're actually on it? No, so... Or when you're about to go? So you're about to go onto... So you're on the side road? Yeah. Yeah. And so say you're at the end of the road now, yeah? You've yeah. stopped and you're going to turn right onto it. So there's a dual carriageway in front of you. Cars coming this way and cars oh, yeah. going that way as well, yeah? yeah? Okay. So what do you need to do before emerging? I don't think it's the first one. I 
I'll take the third one. Stop, apply the parking brake, and then select a low gear. Yeah. Uh, nah. No. So it's check that the central reservation is wide enough for your vehicle. So that's the center part. So you know when you pass the first, so there's going to be cars coming from this way, yeah? Yeah. And there's cars on the other side of the carriage you're going that way, yeah? Yeah. So you've got to make sure, you know, that there, there, there be a point in the middle where you, where you can wait, yeah? Yeah. If it's wide enough. So the first thing you need to do is assess that. If it's wide enough, yeah, then you can just go into the middle. But if okay. it's not wide enough, then you have to check both sides like you would at a normal road. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, next question. What's a cover note? Is it a document issued before you receive your MOT certificate? A document issued before you receive your insurance certificate? Or a document issued before you receive your registration document? Or a document issued before you receive your driving license? So, what's a cover note? Is it the last one? A document issued before you receive nah, or, your No, it's the, or the second one. I think the second one, yeah. You definitely going for the second one? Yeah. A document issued before you receive your insurance certificate. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Correct answer, yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Right. At a puffin crossing, which colour follows the green signal? Yeah, so is it steady red, flashing amber, steady amber, or flashing green? Uh, steady amber. Well then, good. Right, which vehicle will use a blue flashing beacon? Motorway maintenance, bomb disposal, snow plow, plow, breakdown recovery. I'm pretty sure A and D are both like an amber sort of yellow colour. A bomb disposal thing, I've never seen them. Snow plow. I feel like that would be orange as well, so I'll go for B. Bomb disposal? Yeah. Is that just a guess or? That, yes. Well then, good guess. <laughs> I, I, it's just process of elimination. I thought the other ones would be like amber sort of colour. Well then. Right, where will you see these red and white markers? So obviously those of you guys watching, I'll display a picture of this. So the answers, approaching the end of a motorway, approaching a concealed level crossing, approaching a concealed speed limit sign, approaching the end of a dual carriageway. I don't think it's the end of a dual carriageway because there's usually a sign for that. Okay. B, maybe, yeah, I think B. Approaching a concealed level crossing. Yeah. Yeah, final answer? Yeah. Well done. Good. So after a bad start, you've been doing quite well, yeah? Yeah. Now, I feel like I could have got the second one right, but oh, well, it's done now. Okay. You just passed these warning lights. What hazard would you expect to see next? Yeah, so that's a picture of the warning lights. A level crossing with no barrier an ambulance station, a school crossing patrol, an opening bridge. So that's the sign, the warning light, yeah? And those are... Can you zoom into the sign, please? Okay. Yeah. Um, I think it's... The first one. I'd, a level or, crossing with no barrier. Or the last one, yeah. I'll be honest, I'm not too sure. Nah, it's a school crossing. School. Before. See, I zoomed in because I thought it was like a parent and a kid or something. Or if it was something like that. But, oh, yeah, wow. there, there was no sign on there really. Just yeah. the, uh, the amber warning light, yeah. Okay. Right. You're waiting in a traffic queue at night. How can you avoid dazzling drivers behind you? Yeah, use the brake. Use the parking brake. Sorry, here we are. Yeah, use the parking brake. Brake only. Use a foot brake only. Use the clutch with accelerator, or use the parking brake with the foot brake. Does it mean the foot brake is in the handbrake? No. So this is the handbrake, the parking brake. The oh parking yeah, yeah. I meant it's parking brake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The foot brake is the foot brake. It's uh, a. A. Yeah. How can you avoid dazzling drivers behind you? Yeah. Using the parking brake, yeah. 
obviously when you use the foot brake the lights come on at the back which will dazzle the drivers yeah okay so for how long is a statutory off-road notification which is called a SORN S -O -R -N, valid until the vehicle is taxed sold or scrapped until the vehicle is insured and MOT'd until the vehicle is repaired or modified or until the vehicle is used on the road I'd say D um, but yeah I'd say yeah just go D going for D yeah yeah okay so you said until the vehicle is used on the road yeah uh, the answer it's... is A Oh. Yeah, until the vehicle is tax sold or scrapped. Okay. okay, yeah. Right, and this is the final one. What must you have when you apply to renew your vehicle tax? So, before you tax a vehicle, should you have valid insurance or the vehicle's chassis, no, chassis, number, sh chassis number, the handbook, or a valid driving license? Uh, D. D? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. Now it's a, a valid insurance. Okay. Yeah. Right. So that's the end of the questions. They were quite difficult, weren't they? Yeah. A lot of them <laughs> was just guessing. Okay. So, yeah, it's um. Obviously, you you do want to revise the most difficult ones, yeah. But remember, yeah. that shows me you've still got a bit of revision to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we've had these conversations. We had a conversation earlier as well. Yeah. That Raj was saying, now a lot of his mates just started revising a, uh, what two or three days yeah. before the test, yeah. And I think that's what what a lot of people do tend to do as well, yeah. Okay, yeah. but wh why take that risk? Yeah, mm. why not revise that? Like um, we didn't mention that um, Rajan's got a theory test theory test date for October, yeah, which is what a couple of months away. Yeah, yeah do we really want to wait until October? No. Yeah, I want you to get fully ready, feel that you're ready, yeah. Like be passing those mock tests in the complete theory test kit up, yeah. And once you're doing that, I want you to just go online and look for cancellation. So you could get a cancellation test for two days' time, yeah. Yeah, okay. We want to get that done as quick as possible because we can only book your practical test. Obviously, you're not ready for your practical test, yeah. Yeah, but it's going to be the same with the practical test. The dates are quite difficult to get, yeah. yeah. So we, we don't be waiting another six, seven months, hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I want you, as soon as you pass your theory, yeah, um, we are going to uh, book a practical test date as well. Okay. okay? Yeah. So get revising and get that test booked. Well, uh, look for a cancellation. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right then, guys. So uh, that's it. Um, I hope you found found the video useful and uh, those questions uh, really important to go through these questions that we, that we've just uh, been through because as you saw there, they were quite difficult. And like always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya.